What's next? Uh oh, slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue. This is the second DLC traffic case. Yes, we made sure. And this we one here, Elliot did not do, so he's flying blind. Yeah, yeah we're Elliot, going completely blind. Elliot here. has not done this DLC yet. You are completely blind on this one. Well, but luckily, you have Matt by your side. Each cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. The address is six West Second Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. I was hoping after the, I was hoping after you were riding my dick yesterday, I get more to signal on than that. <laughs> Okay. I swear the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It gives Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. Sure she By the way, I'm married. <laughs> and I think that is the wrong door. Yep, do you see a golden knob? <laughs> oh, at least nervous. At least nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're usually we're, uh, we're against anything blind. Because we want to make sure we have at least some sort of experience before publishing this out to the internet for everyone to see. <laughs> but, uh, see he didn't get fully in the car, like, Damn thing! <laughs> Good start! I never liked the hot dogs anyway. <laughs> uh, those hot dogs were dry. <laughs> That's the worst kind of hot dog imaginable, a dry hot dog? Ugh. You hear whether they're making any progress? Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury Ooh. by next week. By the way, contrary to what you heard before, having the siren on does not mitigate your damages. No. No. No, it doesn't. You just won't hit, you won't have to hear your partner's mouth. I no, you still hear it. Not really. When your siren on, when your oh, the siren, siren on, the siren drowns them out. Buffs <laughs> <laughs> really hates those hot dogs. <laughs> Six West. Man, is there anything Street. you can give us, like info, what the DLC case? DLC case is all about. I cannot remember. Uh oh, and we kick off the car chase. We just saw that car twice, actually. You'll see that a lot. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. All right, let's get this ass. So, can we blow up the tires? Um, your partner will do that for you if you take a long time with it or something like that. Yeah. But okay, well, at least they have that consideration. Oh, shit. Like I said, they get a little more trickier, especially on the narrow roads when they can handle their cars perfectly and you're still driving a bathtub on wheels. <laughs> now he has no license plate. <laughs> driving around without a license. Thank you for that mental image, Matt. The bathtub on wheels? <laughs> Cole Phelps driving a bathtub on wheels <laughs> with his partner. Is it an animation idea? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> well, it's, it's not an animation, it's a picture. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Arrest him, later. <laughs> Getting in the way. All these cars are in the way of this chase, man. Nice. Ooh. Very good, Elliot. He's out. Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. What? Get bracelets on him, Phelps. Out. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Let's see. Yeah, this is his car. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Coomb. Hmm. Oh yeah, he thought the last, um... You thought the last guy was a shit heel. Wait till you see the next one. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? From the same place! It's like These he, are the pinks. It's like he knew the cops would find him one day. If well, <laughs> no, not necessarily. Out, this kid seems fit. legitimate, albeit he looks like that kid from the Archie Bunker comics. That's good to say. Very preppy. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Doubt. Damn! Yeah, I was gonna say, you saw that last minute smile That's on his so face. Much yeah, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to the facial features yeah. more so. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. True. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Facsimile? Check with him. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. 
Until then, yeah, so let's get something out of the way, folks. Just because the police put you under arrest does not necessarily mean you're immediately going to the who's gal. Yeah. That just means you're being they detained until your ass gets proven guilty on the court of law. Innocent still Innocent proven, guilty. proven guilty. But they have the right Even to if we make the guilt. Hey, yeah, there's, wait, there's an air green car. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Green car! Let's hit it! <laughs> no. <laughs> what, do you have a grudge now? That's our sociopath! <laughs> Dude, 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 that's cool. Fuck! Bus stop. Oh crap! I took out his truck. Damn you, ADHD! I took out his trunk. You're taking out everything now. <laughs> Holy hell! Where are you going? Shortcut. <sighs> yep. We use are sold out. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God for iron fences. <laughs> oh, he crashed into me. No, you did that yourself. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it to Ned. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? Ah, God. Oh, it does not get Matt Elliot Law of Physics. Matter cannot pass <laughs> between matter, <laughs> or at least He's solids. Like, he hasn't had physics yet. No, oh, at least solids anyway. Yeah, I'm, Matt, I'm in chemistry now, so. Ah, Ugh. in college, chemistry is physics, and physics is freaking god science. I, I when you master my physics class in the Army Institute, guy was you, a real smart ass though, and I loved him. <laughs> when you play physics, you play God. All right, here we are. Where? Another use. <laughs> oh, he finally took one. Couldn't take one now. <laughs> Some guy booking it. <laughs> hey, let's see what this guy got to say. $69 per month. Yeah, wow. this old guy here, the car dealer here, looks like the old guy from that 70s show. Red? Red? Red was the girl. Him. Yeah, that's his name. Red Foreman. Another fucking car dealer. Hold that. You. Uh, it's saving. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. <laughs> I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. What the hell? What the fuck? That's a joke too, son. <laughs> no, Stop it! You Stop being stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Elliot. What? Oh wait, go in there. Go in there. You're right. I'm sorry. You got yeah. bumped on first. Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? Well, yeah, well, the, the, the hood is off my car. Cars. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. What do you know? Gene, Gene Archer. Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. Oh, wait, wait. Not done. Not done. Click it. Click it. Click it. Click it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else this has. Huh. Mm. Marquee Printing Company. I have to look into that. And this paper? What a funny shit, that was a birthday card. Much funny it doesn't <laughs> fold back. <laughs> Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. So basically the problem here we're facing is that somehow the kid got a, made a legitimate purchase we on a stolen car. Questions. Then the kid had no fellas. idea about it. Yeah. Shoot. Now we start the interrogation. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Oh, there's more to that. There's you more to, to that. Coombs, if you don't want to be implicated in this. Oh. Nope. Yap, yap, yap. Son, your problem is that your gums keep flapping, but you do no listening. <laughs> I think he was lying on that. I couldn't tell. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Hold on. What do you think? Want to use your intuition? Yeah, use your intuition. You have plenty of them. They reset after each case, remember. Yeah, I think he's truthful on this. Look at his face. 
What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere but no place to go. You get to know the type. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Mm, uh, yeah, intuition. Yeah, I think there's lie to it. That's a lie, Coombs. You're printing the slips. This whole racket comes back to you. So, I'm some kind of criminal kingpin. Son, I can't wait to see you prove it. Okay, going on a limb here. Damn. How about you take it easy, kid? You're going about it like a sailor in a whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> this was all above board. Yes, of course it was. He's lying there. You're lying. Or at least I'm doubtful. You knew the car was stolen. You have some sort of crystal ball tucked in your jacket that can help you prove I thought he was going to say tucked in your pants. Ooh, okay, we got all five here. See. All right, let's see the bill of sale. Coombs I auto. forgot even the script at this point. What the hell was Zium talking about? All right, let's check it, actually. All right. Well, you, you, have, you want to prove that it's all above board. In other words, if it's all legitimate business, you know he's lying, but how are you going to prove it? Either the bill of sale... Or the ownership or something. Ugh, this I is think hard. it has something to do with the ownership papers. Which one? Archer's or Harrison's? Um, Archer's? Wait, scroll up again? Harrison, that would prove that Harrison got that, and then you already showed you that, but what about Archer's? That would prove that the car is owned by Gene Archer. Would that do it? By the way, if you're if you're wrong on the lie or you're not sure on the lie, you can press the circle button here and you can back out Sorry. of it. Sorry, my mistake. But he's lying here. He's lying, and you can tell he's shaking. I'm just not sure how to prove it. It's either the bill of sale or Archer's ownership papers. That's what I'm thinking about, Archer's. Let's try it. Let's try this one. Damn! Oh, you should try rubbing some oil on that hard head of yours. Are we done here? Just about, actually, yeah. We get awful attentive to people who obstruct LAPD investigations. Well, your first major fuck up, Elliot. Well, it's because I never done this. You one. never did this yeah. DLC. So it's, I was it's gonna reasonable. say, but, I mean, Elliot, you're still like, like nine for ten here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Just fuck up, truck. <laughs> Don't make me hit you. <laughs> Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Cause more, cause more vehicular damage. That, that train turned very forced. Age approximately 25. <laughs> on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee printing company, sure. Just a moment. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Messages, please. Hmm. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Huh. Thanks for your help. So we apologize for not being so our top selves on this one. It's just I've forgotten how to do this, and we don't. Feel, I don't feel like rocking the internet, so and it'll make it more flavorful just to have fun with this. Yeah, yeah. True too. I, I agree. Okay, so where should we go? Should we go to 146 North Vermont Avenue, Marquee Printing Company, or Central? Let's leave the printing company for last. Let's hit uh, North Vermont. Maybe we'll get some leads. What are you? Well, it's a lot less clustered, if you don't mind risking hitting your pedestrians. <laughs> this is the new street, the sidewalk. <laughs> Damn! Oh. That, oh, shit. And that's why you drive in the street, Elliot. Whoa, whoa they just fell! <laughs> he couldn't believe it. <laughs> I would have fainted too if I saw a car coming at me like that. <laughs> get off the fucking sidewalk. Please. Are you aiming for these people? No, get off the fun. sidewalk. Or at least that, that mine. fun to you? <laughs> We're almost there anyway. See? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be fun to edit for you, isn't it, John? Huh. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station. See what this Belasco. See, so at least you get a clue now. So this could help you in the invest in the later investigation. Okay, so it's a good thing we didn't go to the. Alright, let's go yet. to the police station. In one case. 
That's something. Where, where did we get that fake address from? Right there. No, no, no. Where oh, where did we get it? Yeah, it was from the John. It was on John Archer's um, or Gene Archer's um. It was on the papers. Her papers, right? Yeah. Back to the sidewalk. No. Oh! oh yeah. Look at that slowdown. Look at that slowdown. I never had that happen. <laughs> Bowling for pedestrians. <laughs> Thirty points. <laughs> It's like playing. It's like playing Spider-Man. You know where you're on that bowling part in the game. Oh, you mean like regular bowling? 